So, everyone, March 6th, 2014, today we are officially one month from WrestleMania 30. That's why I'm here today. I'm here to discuss something that I've been, I've been saying, come watch March 30th, come do this. But I'm going to do a video each and every single day now, leading up to the event. But what do you think this could be? Like my, this could be what I think of the card, past, present, future? No. This list is my top 30, count it, 30, WrestleMania matches of all time. It is a list that I had to think long and hard about. I had to go back and watch some of these matches. Everything about it, like, WrestleMania is a special event. I could count down the top 30, like, the WrestleMania is in order from 30 to 1. But, like, from, like, basically what WrestleMania I think was the worst, which one I think was the best. Mm -hmm. By the way, um, uh, which I believe is uh, going to be uh, what you call it. It'd be too hard to do just because going back and watching all that, it'd be too much time and effort now. I'm kind of lazy. Uh, but no, uh, what I believe is that uh, with WrestleMania, it's an event like no other. Like, you know me by now. I've been to 28. Uh, like, you go there, it's just everything about it. Like, the grandeur, the spectacle, the majesty, the pageantry, everything about it. It's just something special. Like, April 6th, I'm going to be having a party at my house. we got these... Not these, no, not this couch, the couch downstairs. We got couch side seats for WrestleMania booked. They're, they're really, they're really hard to come by these couch side seats. Like, once they go on sale, you just gotta snap them. <laughs> but, that's happening, and then, uh, what else is happening? Mania. Um, Blue Jays game Mania weekend. Yeah, my Mania weekend's pretty good, except if I win that Mick Foley raffle. But, let's get to it. Uh, number 30 on my list is from WrestleMania 21. Randy Orton versus The Undertaker. A match that was billed as the Legend versus the Legend Killer. Because Randy Orton basically came in, challenged him, saying, Taker, I want to beat your streak. It's like my time. Uh, but everything that happened leading up to it, everyone giving advice to Orton, guys like Superstar Billy Graham, Jake Snake Roberts did, but Roberts got fed with an RKO. Uh, basically, Taker, basically, Orton did his thing where he thought he was going to be a class act, saying, like, oh, I respect you and everything. I hope we have a good match. And then it was like, oh, and by the way, I hope you go 12 and 1. He's 21 and, 0, 21 and 0 now, so I think you figured out who won the match. Um, this WrestleMania was WrestleMania Goes Hollywood in a building that I'll be attending in the next uh, five months, SummerSlam. Uh, I was going to buy my travel package, but uh, travel packages come and go. Uh, I'd, I'd rather have everything together instead of knowing, like, miscellaneous seats. I'd rather know where I'm sitting. But... Um, no, back to the match now, and then, uh, like, how you, and then uh, Cowboy Bob Orton was his manager at ringside. He hit him with the cast. Basically, that gave Orton a lot of control. Like a lot of Undertaker matches that they have, the person facing the t Undertaker, or in the case of 19, where it was A-Train and Big Show, um, you always get the opponent getting control. Like, that whole thing at 28 with uh, Michaels, where he super kicked him and pedigreed him. Same thing here, and then Orton just kept control, kept getting, gaining offense, and then Taker does his whole trademark where he lined down. He just rises up. And then just goes out on Orton and then gets him for the one, two, three. Um, I don't know who's calling, but I'll be right back. Long distance, people. That was a long distance call. Yeah. And then, um, sorry, sorry about leaving, but then, uh, like, everything about the bill, it was more, this match, it'd be, it was a good match, like, it was a good taker match. I also think it's one of Randy Orton's matches that's kind of looked past, because they see, like, oh, versus The Undertaker. I think that this really, because when he had the evolution angle, when he won the World Heavyweight Championship in 2004, he kind of got started to gain momentum, but then I think this match, it's basically, no matter who you are, once you face Taker, you kind of go up. The opposite happened, though, however, I think with uh, CM Punk this past year, and uh, 2006 with Mark Henry. Yeah, that's all I can think of, because I'm not going to go into 20, you know, 25, 26, 27, or 28. But, yeah, I think Randy, because like, Mark Henry and CM Punk kind of didn't, you didn't hear much about them, or they didn't really have their best years, what are booked, their best booked years after the whole, their matches. But, um, Randy Orton, and then this kind of started the elevation, how from there, then the year later, he started with rated RKO, uh, tag team titles, WWE championships, the big heel feud, legacy, look where he is now. 
I think it was better that he faced Taker back in 2005, nine years ago, rather than face him this year, even though it's going to be Brock Lesnar. We'll see how that, I hope that match turns out well. should be a fight. And, uh, yeah, you just got everything with this match. Like, it was more like a build-up, a small venue, uh, Staples Center. Uh, like, these guys just went out there and paid a nail to the masterpiece because it's WrestleMania and you only got one shot to prove yourself. And Taker stayed Taker. Orton, that's when the, Vi the Legend Killer slowly started to become the Viper. Yeah, so that's why you tuned in today. Uh, there will be another video tomorrow, number 29. Um, I'm just going to tell you this right now, that there's one particular superstar who has seven matches on, uh, seven of his matches are on my list. My list is going to be one that's my opinion and my opinion only. If you like it, that's fine. If you don't, I couldn't care less. It's your own opinion. Whatever you think whatever WrestleMania match is, it is. But number 30, Orton Undertaker. Like when you look at when you look at my list, you're gonna see why that match is thirty and why there's why twenty nine is twenty nine, why twenty eight is twenty eight, so on, so on, so on, so on. Alrighty, well, uh, I gotta I'm done with this. I don't want to carry this on for too long, but I figured now then, uh, yeah, let's get me to ten thousand views as soon as possible, and hopefully up into the twenties by uh, my goal is to be at twenty thousand views at the end of this year. Hopefully thirty. You never know. Sorry if I got off track at all, but uh, it's what I do. It's who I am. Anyway, WrestleMania 30, 30 days away from now. Number 30 on my list, Randy Orton versus The Undertaker. Bye, guys.